the probe should be placed on the lower abdomen over the suprapubic region with the probe marker facing towards the patient's right. The probe can then be fan through the entire bladder in order to identify any free fluid. The probe should then be turned 90 degrees so that the probe marker is pointed towards the patient's head. The probe can then be fanned laterally in order to identify any free fluid adjacent to the bladder. Here we see a transverse suprapubic view with the probe being fanned in order to see through the entire bladder. Free fluid should be looked for posterior to the bladder which in this view is toward the bottom of the image. In this image, from a female patient, a large amount of free fluid can be seen posterior to the uterus, with the uterus seeming to float within the free fluid. Here, the bladder is seen in the longitudinal view in a male. Free fluid should be looked for posterior to the bladder in the rectovesical pouch. In females, there are two spaces in which free fluid can accumulate, the rectouterine and vesicouterine pouches.